Most of you already know that a solder mask is a thin layer of polymer on a PCB to make sure solder only ends up on the component pads. Ideally, the solder mask lines up perfectly with the board, but we don't live in a perfect world. In some cases, the mask may be offset by a few mils, which reduces the soldering area. Most PCB design software, however, have a way to expand the solder mask for each pad, which compensates for any manufacturing error. This is true for flux and it's easy to do. I like to apply this rule to layout and then add a layout rule. Just search for solder mask expansion. As you can see, you can specify just the top or bottom of the board as well as the solder mask expansion near holes. For this example, I'll just add the general solder mask expansion rule. Now, using a positive number will expand the mask and a negative number will contract it if need be. Each PCB manufacturer will specify the solder mask expansion, but most recommend between two and four mils. I'm just going to use four mils and Flux will adjust the entire solder mask on the board. I'll just open up the layer and turn off the solder paste layer so you can see the solder mask better. If I select the copper layer underneath, you can see the outline of the solder mask layer. It's slightly bigger than the copper pad by 4 mils. Of course, if you wanted to expand the solder mask on a single part instead of the whole board, you can do that as well. Instead of applying the solder mask expansion rule to layout, you simply select the part and add the solder mask expansion rule just like we did before. One more thing I'll mention is the solder paste mask expansion rule. It essentially does the same thing except for the solder paste mask instead of the solder mask. This usually determines the stencil that you order along with your PCB. Anyway, that's it for this video. Give it a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for more content just like this.